You can see I've now finished my assembly and I'm ready to make an exploded view of my puzzle cube. To make an exploded view, which allows me to see how the parts all go together, I need to make a presentation file. I'll go to my iPro icon and choose New File. I'll come to a standard IPN and create a new presentation file. The first thing I need to do in my presentation file is to create a view or bring in an assembly that I want to explode. I'll go to Create View in my ribbon, and the assembly that I have open is defaulted. If it were not there, I could always browse for an assembly. Here's the assembly file I have. Now I want to bring out this purple part first, mostly because it interlocks with nothing else, and so it would slide right out. I want to show you in the browser how you can interact with the parts. Expand your explosion, expand your assembly, and the purple part is right here. The way to bring the purple part out is to choose to tweak your components. When you go to tweak a component, there are three things you need to do to create your tweak. The first is a direction. You need to establish a direction for your tweak. The second is you need to select a component or multiple components. And finally, you need a trail origin. And that's sort of distance that you want to do your tweak. I'm going to go ahead and select my direction by clicking on the purple piece. Now you'll notice here that the Z axis on my direction is blue. Inventor is figuring that this piece that I clicked on likely would come out in that direction and is assuming that that would be a positive Z tweak. Next I need to select what components I want to tweak. I want to select the purple part. You'll notice that after selecting it in my browser it's highlighted. Oftentimes, if you're having difficulty selecting only one part, you can select the part from your browser instead of from your user interface. Next, and finally, I need to select a trail origin and or a distance. I'll choose a distance of two inches. By pressing the green check mark or hitting enter, the purple part will tweak out. The next part I'll bring out is the orange part, and I'll tweak it down. Again, by doing a tweak, from my ribbon, I choose a direction first. Now I'm going to choose the direction on a different face just to show you that it's possible. I'll choose the yellow part. You'll notice all I've done so far is choose a direction. The yellow part has not been selected as a component. It's defaulting the Z direction here and going upward. Let's choose my orange part and then notice what I'll need to do for my distance if I only type in two inches it would go up because the Z direction is pointing up. So instead I'm going to type in negative 2. By typing in negative 2 and pressing the green check mark, my orange piece goes down 2 inches. Next I'll send my black part go back, going backwards. So I'll choose a new tweak, by even this time going right, twi right click, tweak components, set a direction in the Z direction here, choose my black component, and I'll go ahead and I'll do two inches. Next I'll get the green part to explode out. Right click, tweak components, give a direction of the z-axis again here, choosing the green part only, and I'll choose two inches. Now I have a full explosion. I did not explode the yellow part out. You can if you'd like, but they're all separated from each other. I could save this now and I could bring it into a drawing sheet so that I can see how the Puzzle Cube assembly goes together.